I suppose we've got to start with the sorry, we've got to start with the second Manchester City goal, which I guess from your perspective changed the entire game. What, what's your view? Good afternoon all. So many better things to talk about, and you are going to talk about um, that, that incident. That, and I understand why. Um, of course, let me just make a, a small resume. Of course, that moment made a huge impact in the game, and I, I'll, I'll go further and talk about it. But our first half, um, two different halves. Clear. Our first half was really, really good. Um, the way we planned, the way we, the players, they, they stuck with the plan and they executed the plan. Um, made the, the, the first half really difficult for for City and probably on the ball with better decisions you could have even to create a bit more problems to, to them. And I know how they react, how normal they, with their quality on the ball, how they take same energy for, from you, uh, from the opposition side as well. But uh, I really believe that our first half was a good level. Of course, the score was an important moment for us to, to equalize so quick the game. In a moment that we plan that corner, and um, it's really important for for the players when we plan something that after come, and they do well on the, on the pitch, give them more belief, and was an important moment for ourselves. And to be to be honest, first half much more ball, like against all the teams in the world that City normal has, uh, but uh, not many chances from from City as well. I think we we did control well their their quality and um, their mobility, their dynamic as well, and of course. Um, come that mistake. Second half was not the level that should be. I tried half time to tell the players to don't lose focus in things that we cannot control. Of course, made a huge impact on them that moment. Even all the explanations that we we listen in that during that period doesn't make sense at all. And of course, made a huge impact on the players. I, I didn't want that. I told them that we have to react to try to control what we can. That is our performance and clear after the third goal. And the mistake we, we made in the third goal made a huge impact in the game. And of course, we went down and cannot happen because we have to keep really working hard. About the, the goal, what I can say, everyone that uh, plays football, everyone that played football, everyone that had some knowledge about, about football, 100% sure has to disallow that goal. And of course, we speak between us, players, our players, their players as well, of course. Uh, what Alan said as well after the match uh, to the media as well. Of course, everyone has to be furious if a goal like that came against you because for the linesman, I believe that it can be difficult. Of course, he's, all, he's, he's in offside position, you can see or not, but uh, for the VAR, it's all impossible to don't disallow that goal. It's clear the player is in the, in the line of the ball, the player pulled away from the, the, the line of the ball to, to the ball goes in direction of the goal and influence completed the and the goalkeeper influence completely the, the direction of the ball. And it's clear offside, and this is what concerns us really the, that everyone that is in football, how that goal uh, was not is allowed from the VAR. Next question, please. Yeah, uh, Marco, the sequence of events there, it seemed that obviously he didn't go to the bar because the bar said it wasn't an error. It seemed like your players then saw it on the video screen. Were, they, were you then trying to? I know you can't go to the television screen then, but where you they kind of did draw and look it's so clear it's not so was that what was happening in that little delay? About the delay, I don't know why. <laughs> was embarrassed that the, 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 the delay clear, but about the delay, I don't know why it was so so long. Because as as more times you can see that moment, you have to be more sure that should be disallowed. <laughs> and this is the, the there is I don't know what the delay. Of course, the players they saw it, our players, the city players as well, they saw it, and the, everyone that was inside the pitch in that moment has the same opinion. Yeah, you saw it, For me, he didn't, he didn't say anything, he didn't explain because I, I haven't spoken with him. Jamie. Hi, Marco. Um, I believe that you got booked for your protest. I have booked. A yellow card, <laughs> yeah. No? Yes. Did, did he I have yellow? booked it. Not today. No, no, no. <laughs> for, oh, okay. No. I don't know. Maybe maybe the, the, the rules say that I should be booked all, all the games. No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> because even when I'm not booked, I, uh, you ask me if I'm booked. Sorry, <laughs> Maka. <laughs> well, it was nice last Tuesday. I was on the stand. I was not booked. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Hi, Marco. Um, it's becoming more often, yeah? 
I just want to ask about the transfer window. Are you happy with the business that Fulham did? And can you also explain about what happened with João Palinha and how is he feeling? First, about about João, of course, um, tough day for tough tough day for him. Um, definitely, um, no one can speak about the, the, how he's feeling right now. How he felt yesterday as well, because for sure was probably one of the toughest day of his of, of his life. You know, he loves to he loves Fulham. He loves football. He loves to be with us. He he had a fantastic season last season. He's always the player that gives gives 100% for the shirt. He had a, a big chance to go for one of the biggest clubs in the world. He was really close, and of course, you can imagine the impact that has in a, on a football player when this type of things happen. Um, for sure, John will be the, the best person to talk about all that stuff, how he's feeling, and, and if, how he felt last, last, last yesterday. But um, for sure, it was tough for him. He's going to be tougher uh, as well, and uh, he's going to need. All the our support, the support from our fans, the for support for his teammates, because um, it was tough, one hundred percent sure. Um, about the the market, it was the possible market. It was the possible market. Um, but where it is, we go uh, with the players that we we have. We we are going together in that in, in this fight. It will be tough for us, but for sure we are going to do. To do again a, a good team, um, we had some quality for our squad. We lost some quality as well. Um, I would love to have players much earlier, not left left everything for the last day because after can happen some things. Of course, we wanted to to add another midfielder and it was not possible. But it's what it is now. Um, we have to stick together to be to, to look ahead for the season and try to do uh, as better season as we did last season because it's going to be a really competitive one and for sure we want to be a, a, a tough side to play against. Okay, everyone, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much.